Hello everybody. Today I'll be diving into one of the coolest new features in Houdini 20.5, the MVM Solver. Uh, specifically, we'll talk about the Snow Preset. So let's uh, dive into the Houdini scene and explore its parameter and setting. But before that, uh, you are all welcome to join my Patreon page on Fadi VFX, where you have an access to all of the scene files and examples and uh, uh, all of the tricks and tips. So you are welcome over there. So the Houdini scene, we have uh, uh, a basic configuration of the solver, the MBM source container and a collider and the MBM solver. So in the MBM source, we have the snow preset with a behavior of chunky. This is what we will talk about today. So the chunky preset, it's a tool that is uh, uh, amazing for crafting a realistic snow effect. Whether it is soft powder or is it heavy, uh, chunky snowfall, uh, a lot of experimentation can go through the uh, trying to find out the right setting but uh, each time it will give you a different and cool result so uh, let's go over some of the main parameter in the MBM uh, source mode here so in the MBM source we have the density uh, which you can think about it as uh, how tightly packed the snow particle are so let's me put it as 10 and see how it will look so it will, uh, uh, like a high value, will make the snow look heavier and more compact. While, while uh, a lower value will give you a light and the fluffy snow feeling. So here it is. And if I increase it, let's have a look now. How it will look on a very high 2000. So I catch it to so have a look with a 2000 uh, density. Now for the critical compression, uh, this one it will control how much the snow can be squashed under a pressure. So when it is uh, exposed to a pressure, how much it will uh, respond to the squash. A lower value means the snow it will be soft and easy compressible. So it is very perfect for deep footprint and squashy impact. But uh, on the other hand, a higher value make the snow more resistant, like a uh, tightly packed snow. So let me go all the way up to 0.5 and run it. So this is how it will look. On a high critical compression. I will lower it now and see how it will look go all the way down not zero like this and we'll run it as you can see immediately it went all the way down shrink so let me increase it a little bit and see how it will respond to the pressure so this is the difference see The next one is uh, the critical stretch, this one. In the critical stretch, uh, this will determine how much the snow is uh, allowed or able or can stretch without breaking. So uh, set it low and the snow will break up and it will become more chunks when it is stretched. But when you crank it up and increase it, you will get the snow that is more stretchy and elastic. So let's try it out. I'll put this one back to 400 and this one to the default in the middle and this one will increase it all the way up and we'll have a look so as you can see with high stretching it's not uh, easy to break again and if I lower it will have more chunks and will break very easy so let's go down to a very very low number so as you can see, it's breaking very quickly into uh, smaller chunks. With this lower value, it's even smaller, like each uh, particle is individually separated. Next, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the compression hardening. So 
So the compression hardening, th you can think about it or think of it like it's a, a, a crunchy layer of snow that form on top after it's being stepped on. So this parameter control how stiff the snow gets when it is compressed. Okay, so how strong and stiff this layer, the outer layer will get stronger when it's compressed. So a higher value mean a tougher crust form when the snow gets packed. Okay, higher value there will be a tougher, stiffer crust. On the other hand, lower value that mean no, it will not uh, form this uh, stiff layer. So let's have a look now. So this one I will just put it somewhere uh, here. And the compression I will put it all the way to less than 1, to 0.8. No, I, I'll make it higher. So we'll see how it will form the crust. So as you can see, we play it back again where we increase the compression hardening. So we have this uh, outer layer. But if we reverse it and decrease it, we will lose this uh, crusty layer. Next is the stiffness which is very important parameter so its attribute is called E and this affect how rigid or flexible the snow will be. So a lower stiffness result in a very soft and easy to forming snow while on the other hand a higher value give you that firm hard backed snow like a concrete. And the higher the stiffness is, the more calculation it will need. So if, if I went all the way up, you'll see how slow it will become. So it is requiring more uh, step to solve. And still we are on the first frame. I, I will cancel it and go a little bit lower. This is way too slow because it run on the open CL of the video card so you need a very strong GPU so now it is at 100 uh, sorry 1 million and it's working while it's same we'll talk about the volume preservation because straightforward so this setting is all about maintaining the snow volume when it is being deformed or while deforming so when you put a higher value this means that the snow will try to keep its size even when compacted while on a lower value it will allow it to shrink and compress even more and more so here it is so uh, as you saw in this zip file uh, that I've been playing with uh, trying different setting to show how versatile the snow that chunky preset can be but by tweaking this parameter you can create effects ranging from a light fluffy snow that's gentle settled to a, be a very dense and chunky snow which is basic for avalanche simulation or snowball fight uh, I'd love to see you uh, what you all come up with uh, while using this uh, new tool the MBM solver so drop your experiment or question in the comment below or on my Patreon page and uh, if you enjoyed this quick rundown and want more deep dive into Houdini Lattice feature uh, so please consider supporting me on Patreon so stay creative and happy simulation thank you